Hello folks, it's the uh, Friday in the barn again. As you can see, I'm in my house. Uh, the barn's a bit, uh, still a bit on the cold side. If I'm going to do this, it's, it's going to be in the house. So, Friday in the barn stroke house. That works. Okay folks, there's one thing that I mentioned earlier about being 15 and uh, adjusting my reads. Now, at that time it was thought that uh, you blow a hard read in, it makes a man out of you. All this sort of nonsense that was going around. Um, and you blow a hard read until it breaks in, say, a month, two months, three months, and then you play it. I mean, so what would happen if after three months of playing, it's still not uh, still not doing what you want it to do? You've wasted three months, basically. So, to my mind, all this stuff is nonsense. So, even blowing a hard read doesn't mean that it's going to produce a sound you want. A hard read can be hard simply because the blades are too thick. If the blades are too thick, it's not going to produce the sound you want. It's going to kind of just hard pitch, high pitched, and it's not going to um, project the way it should do. So, in that case, you need to um, sand the blades down a wee bit, make them lighter, make them vibrate efficiently, and then you've got a read that you can you can play and enjoy rather than hoping to enjoy it at some time in the future once you've blown your brains out. And, uh, Anyhow. Um I've had a lot of people ask me about these things, these pressure gauges. I've always got them sort of lying around the workshop and people have seen them in the in the back there. Um, this is a pressure gauge. Now, you can see the, hopefully you can see the dial there. It's in inches of water rather than PSI. Bagpipes play at about 1.1 1 .1 to 1 1.5 PSI and that's really, really low pressure. So this kind of calibration is much finer and it can give us a much more accurate picture of where we are and it's reproducible as well excuse me with my whistle I still haven't put that too thin anyhow this is really good for uh, say you're in a band and uh, you want to get everyone to have reeds that they're comfortable with well you buy a bunch of reeds and most of them are too strong uh, what do you do just stick them in their pipes and tell them to get on with it or do you make life a bit easier you get a better sound and the playing will be better if you get it to the strength they want. So you can do that with this. You can take a reading of the one that they like, make a note of it, and then you can adjust their reads down to this pressure. Um, this book gives you lots of guidance as to how to do that. So I'm just going to blow this and I'm going to turn the gauge around so you can see where it is. Right. Yeah, just going to turn the mic down because this is kind of loud. So I think that's just under 30 inches of water, which it will stay at mostly. It may go water my um, one inch of water either way, but um, once you get blowing it, you once it settles, oh, it's not blowing it in. Just get a bit of moisture on it and playing it and uh, you'll find that it's uh, exactly where you want it to be that's it really don't struggle enjoy your piping it's not a physical event it's not weightlifting or anything else like that it's a musical instrument and just try and remember that and uh, enjoy your playing all right well that's it for today thank you